What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a very special video and one of my favorite videos of the entire year is when we throw it back throughout the entire year and we count down the best or my personal favorite WWE elites of the entire year. So 2023 was an immaculate year for WWE action figures and just wrestling figures in general. And today we're going to be covering my personal top 25. We're actually making it bigger this year. I almost ranked every single WWE elite of the year, but it would have taken me six years to make. So I narrowed it down to my top 25. We also have some honorable mentions here and I'm going to take you through my countdown today. Should be a fun one and it's probably going to be a long one so buckle the hell up. But we're going to go through my honorable mentions then we're going to dive into my top 25 countdown all the way to number one and name and crown my champion or my number one WWE elite action figure from Mattel of 2023. Now before we get started I do want to lay some ground rules. So first of all just because a figure was left off of my countdown does not mean that it's not good whatsoever. And just because a figure is number one doesn't mean that it's just the greatest figure of all time. All sorts of stuff comes into my criteria. Excitement level for the figure, likeness to the character on my TV, articulation, feel in hand, and all of the above. And just because a figure came in ranked in highly in a previous My Damn Thoughts episode doesn't necessarily mean that it could be ranked higher than other figures here today. Which means some figures have changed in the countdown throughout the year. My opinions may have changed. Things may have differed, etc. And just remember, my list isn't the right list. It's just my list. So that being said, man, let's shut the hell up, dive into my honorable mentions, and get things started. Now, first of all, we had a really, uh, like a ton of really great women's figures this year. I love the Elite 105 EO Sky. The Elite 101 Sonya Deville was a really good figure. We have the Elite 103 Liv Morgan. These are just to name a few, but women's figures have come so damn far, man. They look and feel immaculate in hand now. No longer do we get the damn slappy hand. No longer do we get single jointed arms, single jointed legs. The women's figures are really damn good, and we just got to keep improving, man. So I wanted to give a shout out to the lady figures. Next up, we have the Ruthless Aggression line. This figure is representing the Ruthless Aggression Elite Edge, a figure that I do not have yet. So this is just kind of my, you know, just it's a camo edge. I just wanted to put this out there so I wouldn't forget about it. But I don't have that Ruthless Aggression purple camo edge. And I wanted to give a shout out to it because it would probably be in my top 25 countdown, but I don't own the figure so I can't personally put it in the countdown. It's just That doesn't make sense to me. You gotta own a figure to put it in your top, you know, your top whatever the hell the figures of the year. We also have a couple more Ruthless Aggression figures. The MVP and Rocks from their specific sets were immaculate. I love the belt buckle on the Rock figure. And the details on this MVP just hold up so well. The silver is immaculate. Just some really cool accessories with this MVP. I also forgot to mention that in my countdown, this is only elite figures. So no ultimate additions, no basics. It's not figures overall. It is only elite action figures. We're, we're going to do a separate top 10 countdown for ultimate additions for 2023. Also, only one specific version of a character can be in a countdown. So there can't be 10 John Cena's in the countdown, for instance. There can only be one John Cena in the countdown, or one Undertaker, or one edge or whatever the hell it is. So I just wanted to get that out there. The Greatest Hits line was also a really nice prominent feature this year. I love this Harley Race figure. It was so close to making the top 25. I love this figure. This is a really great figure. And the Shawn Michaels from the Greatest Hits series was also really good, but I had to give a shout out to those figures. The Legends line was immaculate this year. It gave us some great pieces right here. We have the Legends suited Polly Dangerously, the suited Ted DiBiase, and the suited Brother Love all coming in the Legends line. Love all three of these figures. Just truly, just fantastic figures. I loved these figures. And these guys were also really close to making the top 25. I had to give a huge shout out to these suited figures. They're just, they pose around so well. They feel great in hand and they have great likeness to the character. Next up, we do have the Build-A-Figure British Bulldog right here. And another great figure. I am still missing an arm because my torso actually had sort of a, my torso had a blunder in it or a botch at the at the factory or something. So my arm will not plug in. But this is a really sweet thing. I love the way that Build-A-Figures are headed. And this is a great Build-A-Figure this year. Elite 101 Cody Rhodes is fantastic. And then we have a shout out to a couple more top picks figures. We have the top picks Super Mario John Cena and the top picks Cody Rhodes with a head swap with this light blue gear. I love all three of these figures and they were super close to making the countdown but they did not make it for obvious reasons which we'll get into so you know it breaks the rules Brad. So let's shut the hell up dive into my top 25 and find out who is the best WWE elite figure of 2023. Coming in at 25, man, we have the WWE Elite 101 Johnny Knoxville figure, man. A, a really fun figure. I thought it was a great figure overall when we got it in Elite Series 101. Great likeness. A lot of unique sculpts going on with this guy. I think the head sculpt's phenomenal. I like the glasses and the goggles. The matchup was a lot of fun as well, which doesn't have any bearing on the countdown, but I just like to think about it and say it. But this Johnny Knoxville really shocked me. I didn't expect a lot. I mean, it's not a perfect figure by any means. It's kind of hard to pose around a little bit, but at the end of the day, very fun figure, very unique, and I, I enjoy this figure. 
I think it deserved a top 25 spot for sure for 2023. So I did give honorable mention to the original Legends 20 Ted DiBiase figure in the honorable mention segment, but in my countdown, the Chase figure made the countdown, man. It had to be top 25. Look at this man. He's fresh to death in his suit. I love the suited bodies, as we talked about in our honorable mentions. This figure is beautiful, and I really, you know, this head sculpt's been reused a lot of times. I do like the old man head sculpt that they threw in there, but the white suit with the double-jointed arms and the gold accent, very clean, very poseable. Love this version of Ted DiBiase. I think it looks fantastic. It had to make my tw top 25. I mean, it's all white gear, Brad. What did you expect? At number 23, we have another figure from Elite Series 101 with the Ricochet figure, man. Really like this gear. I thought that they captured his height, which they don't usually do with Ricochet. Now, I did replace the kick pads with all black kick pads because, unfortunately, he did have Johnny Gargano Syndrome, but we did fix that on surgery. I think that this figure, after fixing it up, looks really, really good. I like the waist wrap and tie. The flames look really cool. Ricochet is very toyetic. Having a double-jointed arm Ricochet is great. I like the head sculpt, and this figure is very poseable. I, I like this figure a lot. It it also made my top 25 countdown here. Slightly edging out Johnny Knoxville from Elite 101, but this ricochet made my countdown. Coming in at number 22 is Elite Series 104 Dakota Kai, man. I really like this figure. Very, very twitic. She's got the tattoos. She's got the hairstyle. I like the facial expression. The gear is really what puts this figure over the top, but it's also very poseable. Now, I know it does have Alexa Bliss basic kick pads, and I've talked about this with women's Elite figures and Ultimate Editions and stuff like that. We got to get rid of the basic feet on these women's figures. However, this figure is very toyetic. I love the black and pink. You guys know you put some pink on a figure, it's going to skyrocket for me. I Personally, I'm a big fan of Dakota Kai as well, so this just checks a lot of boxes for me, and I know a lot of people have a problem with the legs and the way the like stockings look on her legs, and it's a bit weird, but I don't really mind it. I know what they were going for there. I like this figure a lot, and we have our first women's figure on the countdown with Elite 104 Dakota Kai. At number 21 is the Elite 103 Stardust figure, man. When we first saw this figure at WrestleMania at the Superstore, man, I was super enthralled. I was super happy with it. I've been waiting on this WrestleMania 32 gear from Stardust or Cody Rhodes for a very long time. And I know they use the old Elite 32 Cody Rhodes head sculpt, but I don't think that really docks it. I think it looks like Cody from that time period. I think they did a really great job on it. Now, I did have original, like, regular laced boots, which weren't accurate, but I did replace it with some, you know, some Cody Rhodes black boots or some Drew McIntyre style boots. And it looks phenomenal. I know, like, even if you don't fix it up, it's still a great figure. Very poseable. Cody figures are always so poseable. And this is a different character. This is Stardust. This is not Cody Rhodes. So I could absolutely put two of these on the list so that didn't break the rule for me. Yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles, Brad. So yes, this is a Stardust figure, not a Cody Rhodes figure. So it's eligible, but this figure is really great. I love the sleeveless look, the pinless joints. Fantastic figure. Cracking the top 20, we have the Top Picks 2023 Seth Rollins figure in the Hell in a Cell Troll Dusty Rhodes Elite figure here, man. Great, great figure, man. And this is not my favorite gear. I do love the story behind it. I love the troll job. I love that match. One of my favorite matches for, uh, in recent history. I really do enjoy that match. I love the, I love everything about that match. It's just a, a great moment in time, a great figure. I'm so glad that we actually got this figure. Even if I don't really care for the gear personally, it's still a great, great moment. I love the use of the Ultimate Edition head sculpt. I like the cloth shirt. And Seth Rollins is very toyetic as it is. So Seth Rollins making the countdown here is easy, man. So so easy. I love collecting his figures. This top picks figure was a was a slam dunk. Coming in at 19, we have the Beast Incarnate versus Tribal Chief Amazon 3-pack Elite Paul Heyman figure. Great likeness to Paul Heyman. When we first saw this set up for pre-order, when we first saw the images of it, I was over the moon. I thought it was a great looking head sculpt. I love the proportions. You know, very similar to the Elite 106 Paul Bearer figure in capturing the true build of Paul Heyman here. The posability of the figure, the double jointed arms, feels really good in the hand. A great head sculpt of a modern Paul Heyman figure, something we've been dying for for a very long time. This Paul Heyman knocked it out of the park. Checks all the boxes for what you want out of a Paul Heyman. This was an easy, easy pick for my top 25 figures of the year. 
Next up, we have the Elite 104 Braun Breaker figure, and I was so glad that they actually went with this pink numbers gear inspired by his father for the regular edition. I do not own the Chase version, but I do enjoy the regular version better. I think that this is a great figure. I, I love this version of Braun Breaker. Very poseable figure. I'm pretty sure he uses the exact same formula as his father that also came alongside him in Elite Series 104, Rick Steiner. This is a great figure. Great head sculpt. I think he transitions really well. He's very poseable. Love the pink. Love the pink knee pads. Just a fantastic fantastic figure overall. Braun Breaker was, was shredding the list, and this is our second figure from Elite Series 104. At number 17 is the Legends 19 Undertaker figure. I remember seeing this figure back at the WrestleMania Superstore out in LA, and I was so excited for it, man. He just looks so menacing with this specific head sculpt with a cowboy hat. I love the Ultimate Edition legs that they're using here. It's a great formula. Just the jackness of it. I don't know what it is about this Undertaker. This might be one of my favorite Undertaker figures ever. I just love it. I think it's so nice, and I'm pretty sure you can get it on clearance at certain Target stores. This guy's like, he's not necessarily shelf warming, but he's a Available and it's so good. If you don't own this figure, man, this is definitely one you need to search out. It's a great figure. Not the most poseable guy of all time in terms of the legs. They're a little bit stiff just the way it is, but just a fantastic, menacing Undertaker that really captures the character, and I love the cowboy hat on this guy. At the number 16 spot, one that actually shocked the hell out of me is the Royal Rumble Elite Build-A-Figure Virgil figure, man. What a fantastic figure. I love the Indiana Hoosiers pants. I love how poseable he is. Feels very good in the hand, and I do not, I'm not a Virgil fan necessarily. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and break down the lore of the Virgil character, but this figure is great. I love the aesthetic of it. It poses around really well. It's buttery smooth in the posability. I love the Build-A-Figure aspect and how well it clicks together. It's a fantastic head sculpt. It's a great likeness. It's just, it just kind of checks all those boxes out of a great action figure, and that's really, you know, when you combine those things with characters that I love, that's when, you know, you can break yourself into the top ten and things of that nature, or if your figure is just so damn good and you can't be denied, and this Virgil figure could not be denied, man. He, he's a great figure, great build a figure here with the Virgil Elite, man. If you don't have this one, you definitely need to search it out. Great Indiana Hoosiers pants. Always love that as well. Great Virgil figure right here. At number 15, we have the Elite Series 105 Scott Steiner, man. This one really blew me away, seeing this figure for the first time. All the unique sculpts going on. It has a unique head sculpt, a unique torso, a unique arm mold. Lots of great things about it. Very poseable as well. Great head sculpt, like I said. It just, it really does capture Scott Steiner so well, and I think that they did a really phenomenal job here. So many fun things about this figure that really capture the essence of the character, and that's, I mean, anytime that I look at a figure and it looks like a shrunk down version of the character portrayed on my television, you're always going to get very big bonus points. So breaking into the top 15, we do have the Elite 105 Scott Steiner, and he could not be denied from the top 15. Next up on my list is the SummerSlam Elite Jay Uso figure. Now, at this point in the countdown, I also need to give an honorable mention out to the SummerSlam Elite Desert Storm Hulk Hogan figure. Forgot to include him in the honorable mentions and possibly could have cracked the top 25, to be honest. But this Jay Uso figure is so good, man. I love the white sleeve. I love this gear. For years, I waited on black jogger Usos. We finally get them. And they threw in some accents. I love the white shoe accent with the white sleeve. Love this head sculpt for Jay Uso, even if it is a repeat of the Elite 90. I think. I think that these versions, the SummerSlam Elite, Jey Uso, and the Top Picks Elite, Jimmy Uso, are the best Uso figures you can get, and I actually like this better than the Elite 106 counterpart. I, I just love this figure. I think that it's very great accents. It contrasts really well. Beautiful looking figure overall. I love this Jey Uso figure. At number 13 is the Tribal Chief vs. Beast Incarnate 3-Pack Elite Amazon Exclusive Brock Lesnar, man. If you guys are unaware, my number one figure for 2022, the number one Elite of the year that I gave it to, was the Farmer Brock from Elite Series 99. And this one is kind of a touch on that. It's got the cloth flannel, the cloth black shirt. I love the jeans look for Brock here. This unique crotch piece with the smiling man bun head sculpt. I'm pretty sure this is the same head sculpt from Elite 99, but I love this figure. This is a very fun figure. It even has some dry brushing on the jeans. I did do a fix up to one of mine. I do have multiple copies of this figure, but I took one of mine and replaced the feet with some boots from like a Bray Wyatt Elite. 
and it really threw it over the top as well. So there's a lot of fun stuff you can do here. I mean, you could have the guy shirtless. You could have him here with the flannel. He just looks like a bad A, and I couldn't, I could not not love this figure. It just looks so good. I love this Brock Lesnar figure. I'm honestly shocked it's not higher, but coming in at 13 is the former Brock Lesnar from the three pack. Next up in our countdown is WWE Elite Series 103, Angelo Dawkins, man. I was blown away by this figure from the time that I saw it. The improvements from Elite 81 to this figure is unbelievable. That Elite 81 Angelo Dawkins is one of my least favorite Mattel figures ever made by uh, in Elite form. I, I just couldn't stand it, man. But the improvements that they made, the changes to the formula, the Miami Vice gear, the cloth Velcroless jerseys, the great head sculpt, the double joint pinless joints. I mean, the figure's not perfect. I'll be honest. If this John Cena... Now, I did fix this one up specifically with Ultimate Edition John Cena feet, but it did have John Cena Elite feet, which are worse than the Ultimate Edition feet, and that kind of docks the figure a little bit, and also the legs are a little bit stiff, but this figure is just phenomenal in every sense of the word. The Street Profits from Elite 103 are so good, and Angelo Dawkins is just so good, man. It's so, so good, so toyetic, and this figure blew me away just by the simple improvements from that god-awful Elite 81. Just outside the top 10 is the Elite Series 106 Paul Bearer figure, man. I just recently broke down this figure. We reviewed this figure not too long ago on the channel, a few days ago, and then we broke it down in My Damn Thoughts episode, ranking this set, and it is just such a fun figure, man. I love the adjusted proportions of the torso to maximize that likeness to Paul Bearer. Love the head sculpt. The posability of this figure is phenomenal. It feels great in hand. You wouldn't expect it out of this figure, but this one just captures a lot of details about the character and if you would have told me that Paul Bearer would have been number 11 in my top 25 figures of the year, I don't know if I would have believed you, Brad, but this one is a great figure. You cannot deny this one. I mean, it's sold out on Ringside Collectibles, if that tells you anything. And I know people just are excited for a Paul Bearer, but the figure is just phenomenal as well to go alongside the character. So this, this is a great figure, and Paul Bearer blew me away. All right, man, we have officially cracked the top 10 figures of WWE Elites for 2023. And this is one of those figures that a lot of people probably thought I would have in the top five or even higher or what the hell the case is, man. A lot of people know how I feel about this figure. This figure, this Andre the Giant Elite 100 figure was easily the best figure from Elite 100. It was honestly one of the only figures from a set that I didn't want to throw out the hell out, out in the freaking traffic, man. I mean, Elite 100 was a huge disappointment for me. I know they could have. We've talked about it at nauseum on the channel, but this figure, I love promo gears for my figures. You guys know that I love a guy in a suit jacket. I love a guy that's in a promo gear or in a non-traditional wrestling attire. And this Andre the Giant figure is just, it just checks all the boxes. Phenomenal in hand, great likeness, very unique. Just a standout in Elite 100 by far. Easily the best figure in Elite 100 and he does crack the top 10. So he made it all the way from the first Elite Wave of the year and he survived all the way to the end, end of the top 10 WWE Elites of 2023. <laughs> At number 9 is the WWE Elite Series 106 Chad Gable figure, which did take the top rated figure in Elite 106 for me personally. If you guys missed our My Damn Thoughts episode on Elite 106, definitely check that out and check out all of the different criteria for that and kind of just see our full thoughts on that. But this Chad Gable figure was really fun. Love the shoe shirt, love the head sculpt, love the posability of it, love the gear. I just think it really does represent the character that I see on my TV. And again, man, that gets major props for me. If I, Again, if it looks just like the character that I see portrayed on wrestling television. I mean, what else could you possibly want out of a figure, man? This Chad Gable checks all the boxes. Love the head sculpt. Love all the things going on with it. Chad Gable, great talent, great, great food. Live better, pay less, Walmart, all the stuff. At number 8 is the Elite 103 Montez Ford. We already saw Angelo Dawkins in the countdown, but I think the Montez Ford figure was a little bit better. I'm also a bigger fan of Montez Ford than Angelo Dawkins, but I like the tattoos. Very, I mean, all the same things I said about Angelo Dawkins, it still remains true for this... Oh my God in heaven. It's these damn John Cena feet, man. It's these damn John Cena feet. And I almost used my fix-up so he could actually stand. I put Deluxe Aggression John Cena feet on him. And this is the only con about this figure. If these 
these John Cena feet don't, like, these need to cease to exist. We've covered it multiple times on the channel. The freaking feet are over a decade old, man. We need something new, but I love this Montez Ford. It goes without saying. Great tattoos, great head sculpt. I like the chain, the attire, all the things I said about Angelo Dawkins. Continues on with this Montez Ford, but I love this Montez Ford figure. It cracked my top 10, came in at number 8. Next up on the list is the Ruthless Aggression Elite Eric Bischoff, a figure that I waited for for years and years and years from Mattel finally came true this year. And this one is so good. The head sculpt's phenomenal. The formula's phenomenal. I love the shininess of the jacket to really capture that leather jacket look of Eric Bischoff. This is a figure that I just waited for for so long, man. And there's so many damn suited figures this year, man. So many promo gears or backstage attires for figures this year. And this Eric Bischoff is just fantastic, man. Not only did I wait for this figure forever, but they checked all the boxes. They nailed it. I think the likeness, the formula, the head sculpt, the feel in hand, the likeness to the character, like I said, is just easily top 10 material. Came in at number 7. It could have possibly been higher. I love everything about this Eric Bischoff Elite, man. I, I just love it. The, when we get to this point in the countdown, the, the, it was like pulling teeth trying to rank these things. <laughs> Now, there's no way in hell if you would have told me last year that an Elite AJ Styles would crack my top six WWE Elites of the year, I would have slapped you silly, Brad, because there's no damn way that that Daniel Bryan stupid torso that they give this man is ever going to crack my top ten list. But Mattel, I'm guessing they saw my post on Instagram. I guess they heard the, the cries that I've been yelling for for years, and they finally changed his torso to the Sin Cara torso. And you add that in with the double-jointed arms and the updated skin tone and Ultimate Edition head sculpt that they gave us with a red gear AJ Styles that we've been asking for for years. All of that culminates in this fantastic Elite 104 AJ Styles figure that just shoots it on up the ladder. I mean, again, I crumbled into my kitchen floor when I saw the Elite 104 AJ Styles with the Sin Cara torso. A, a choice and a something that I just never thought they would possibly do. It made me fall to my knees in my own kitchen and if that's sad, I know it is. But it blew me away and I love this figure. Now, it's not perfect by any stretch if it had the perfect formula, like the correct thigh size and the crotch piece and the ball joints, different things like that, would easily be top three. But this phenomenal, pun intended, AJ Styles figure had to be up here, man. It is so good, and it's just, I cannot wait for more AJ Styles because of this groundwork that was laid here from Elite 104, and uh, I, I'm just so glad we were able to make this happen. Speaking of figures and improvements, Elite Series 105 Dominic Mysterio tops off our top five. The fixed skin tone, the updated Judgment Day gear, the updated head sculpt. Again, man, captures the likeness from the character on my television. Them changing the skin tone from the previous Dominic Mysterio and actually listening to us and fixing these things that make them more accurate to the character that they're portraying and how they look on our TV screens and what we see on a weekly basis from, you know, WWE activities and entertainment. Just straight gas right here. This Dominic Mysterio figure I love. I, I love this figure and I don't even like Dominic Mysterio, especially back in his babyface days like his previous Elite figure from Elite 89 or 87 or whatever the hell it was. I think it was Elite 89. This figure kills that figure. And this character of Dominic Mysterio kills that babyface portrayal. The Judgment Day version of Dominic Mysterio has been great. And the figure that this represents so far has been so good. I love this Elite 105 Dominic Mysterio. And it was probably one of my favorite reveals that we saw back at San Diego Comic-Con in the summer. Just like Eric Bischoff from the Ruthless Aggression line, this Shelton Benjamin Ruthless Aggression Elite is a figure that was on my wants list from Mattel for, I swear to God, a decade, man. I would get on here and talk about wish lists and figures wanted and things like that. And I mean, a Ruthless Aggression wave was something that I cried for for years, and we finally got that to take place. And not only that, but they added in figures that I had on my list for very long. And I know that I, I did change the kick pads and the knee pads on this specific figure to kind of make a singles version, like OC six version of Shelton Benjamin. And this is a just great figure, man. It, it, I remember when they first showed this off, I flipped out about it. And some people were trying to, I think some people were trying to downplay my excitement, but hell no, bro. This is a fantastic, I, first of all, I love Shelton Benjamin as a child. I still love him to this day. He was one of my favorite workers growing up. And this just perfectly encapsulates that singles run Shelton Benjamin, the white and blue and silver gear, chef's kiss, double jointed arms, just such a good representation of Shelton Benjamin. I could not love this figure more. This is a beast of a figure. Easily top five for me in 2023. 
We are getting down to business, man. Top three time Elite Series 102 Gunther. A fantastic representation of Gunther. A brand new torso with this leg mold, double jointed arms, fantastic head sculpt, great robe accessory, great gear, very poseable, ball joints, a ludicrously great figure. I know a lot of people probably are going to have this in their top tens. It's easily top ten. It's not even a thing, not even a thought about it, man. When I was thinking of the best figures of 2023, the best Elite figures of 2023, this Gunther figure immediately pops into my mind. I think that it's so good, and I, I'm still getting over the fact that he's Gunther. I still want to call him Walter, and I know he's been Gunther for a while, and he's and he's been really good in that role and that character and whatnot, but oh man, this is such a good elite figure, man. You talk about the best like figures of a, of a current roster or a modern figure of a modern guy. This just completes all the list, man. This is easily one of the better figures and one of the, the best figures, in my opinion, when it comes to WWE. WWE Elites in the year of 2023. A ridiculous wrestling match, a ridiculous figure to capsulate that moment. The Defining Moments Elite Torn Pet Cody Rhodes figure from the Hell in a Cell matchup with Seth Rollins. Now we saw the counterpart of this figure in our countdown already with the top picks Rollins, but I remember when we talked about this being a possibility. We, you know, we talked about the blood and guts from AEW, and we're like, oh man, what if they did like the torn peck and they actually put the bruising on the figure, and they did sort of a defining moments Cody Rhodes figure, and that's exactly what they did. Not only is the torn peck such a really unique and cool thing, and I've already talked about how much I love that matchup, but I also am a huge fan of Cody Rhodes. I'm a huge fan of Seth Rollins, and this version of Cody Rhodes just has the most ridiculous likeness to the character. And I'm meaning that in the head sculpt. There's no other head sculpt that Mattel has done again that looks like this head sculpt. You can even compare it in images. There's something about this head sculpt specifically on the Defining Moments figure that looks identical to Cody Rhodes. I've done a whole post about it on my Instagram. If you can go to my Instagram right now, at my damn toys. You can scroll back. I did screenshots. I've done comparison shots of the figures. This figure looks identical to Cody Rhodes in the face. I think they have just knocked it out of the park. And not to mention that this figure's attire is sick as hell with the white and blue. My favorite Cody Rhodes figure this year. Very, very close to winning figure of the year for me for WWE Elites, but there was one figure that I like just a hair more, and it is the number one, but this Cody Rhodes figure is so good that it's sold out on Ringside Collectibles a hundred times. It is Ringside exclusive. It's Defining Moments, and I think it's relisted right now for like 50 bucks on there, so that's just one of those things, but if you don't own this figure, if you don't collect any modern guys, just get this figure, man. Just get it. You'll understand. <laughs> And the number one figure for 2023 in terms of WWE Elite action figures is the SummerSlam Elite Dolph Ziggler figure, man. No longer with WWE, but in my heart, he remains, man. I am a massive Dolph Ziggler fan. It's no it's no shock to anybody if you watch the channel. And this version of Dolph Ziggler, I'm so happy that we were able to get this figure out before he, you know, got let go from WWE. But I love the gear. I love the head sculpt. The formula is perfection. I love the double jointed arms. I love the head sculpt. I've done some fix-ups. I do own multiple copies of this figure, but I love this gear. I've been wanting this gear in figure form. I love the boots. I know it's not the accurate boots completely. It's kind of, you know, played a little bit, but I just love this representation. I just love this representation of Dolph Ziggler, and it actually was my number one elite of the year so far at the halfway point of 2023. If you go back and watch our 2023 countdown of top 10 WWE elites of 2023 so far, we did it back in May, right before my birthday. This figure was also number one there, and it remained true. No other figure beat it out. There were multiple figures that were very, very close. But at the end of the day, this Dolph Ziggler edged out the rest of them. And I couldn't be happier with it. I love this Dolph Ziggler. I think that... It's super poseable. It checks all the boxes like we've talked about in this in this video. And it is my personal favorite WWE Elite action figure of 2023. Barely edging out that Torn Pet Cody. And that Torn Pet Cody figure is so damn good. It's so good. All, all the figures on this list are really good. But if you want the absolute just goats of the year, you take that top 10 right there, man. Everyone should own that top 10 that I just listed out here today. But I think that pretty much wraps up my WWE Elite action figures of 2023, man. I had a ton of fun doing this. You guys know I love ranking figures. I love getting my thoughts of these action figures out to you guys. And I 
Hope that you guys had a phenomenal year of 2023 collecting and whatnot. And I appreciate every single one of you that supported the channel this year and watched and commented and liked or disliked or whatever the hell it was, man. I greatly appreciate it. But down in the comment section below, I would love to know what your personal favorite, top 10, top 5, your favorite figure overall or elite figure overall was. Or remember, you got to keep it to elites. This is not Ultimates. We're going to do our own separate countdown for Ultimate Editions, our own separate countdown for AEW figures, and we're going to do some different things here on the channel to celebrate and rank figures for the entire year to wrap up our 2023 and of course at the new year we are going to do our new room tour and office tour for you know the brand new room so that should be really fun as well man but we're getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching i'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below a huge shout out to our patron members of the mdt youtube channel i appreciate you fellas so very much and i appreciate you guys so much for the year of 2023 i plan on 2024 making it way better way bigger and everything like that for you guys as well but that is going to wrap it up man thank you guys so very much for watching again leave me your thoughts down below and leave your personal favorite figures and elites down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Like the video if you will. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>